ASMR Sports. Back with some more back opening videos. We got some football today. Um, so I, I I I was at the <coughs> excuse me. I was at my local car shop. Um, got some gum going. Refresh it. Um, and I picked up some different box. Decided to shoot for some football. And man, this gum is hard. It takes some work to uh, get into it. Anyways, I picked up this box of 2019 cards to uh, to the origins. There's only seven cards in here. Two of them are autographs. I don't know if I've ever bought, I don't think I've bought the Origins ever. Because there's only seven cards in there, I thought I'd get some more football from my uh, collection of unopened crap that I've had sitting around for a while. And this is the only football I could find that was sitting around. As you know, I kind of have boycotted football cards for a long time because I just had the, like the worst luck ever in any football products I bought and I don't know I've been kind of dipping uh, my toes back in the uh, water on football stuff so um, I got this actually a while ago I can't remember where 2018 beneath football so I haven't bought a lot of 2019 stuff or 18 stuff and so I'll be interested to see what, what I get um, but let's try this 2019 first Carson Wentz is a North Dakota native. He played for 
North Dakota State University and was the number two draft pick in his draft class, so he was a pretty big deal. That doesn't happen a lot to North Dakota State players, um, although there are more and more getting in the draft. And this guy, Easton Stick, was actually also a quarterback at North Dakota State University, and I've bought two boxes of 2019 football products this year, and in both of those boxes, I've gotten an Easton Stick auto. So maybe he's the guy that they get like they run the presses on, and they just get a ton of his stuff. And a lot of times, that probably just pisses you off to get that guy, but because he's a local guy, and you know, a lot of people are interested in his cards around where I live, um, I'm always happy to get these. So pretty cool. Again, the Easton Stick. This looks like a base card. Um, yeah, no um, numbering or anything, but still pretty cool. And so, uh, Easton Stick, actually in Carson Wentz's, um, like his his senior year, Carson, which I think was 2016, um, Easton Stick actually played like 95% or not 90% of the games as the quarterback for the uh, North Dakota State Bison. Um, that year, because Carson Wentz uh, was injured, but but he would but Carson Wentz was um, like kind of rehabbing the whole year, and he ended up um, getting um, better finally by like the um, the last like the championship game, the last game of the year. Um, so there's this question of whether you put Easton Stick in that game because he had gotten the team you know, all the way to the championship game. Obviously, he was doing well. But Carson Wentz, you know, was the go-to quarterback for his entire career. Um, and, you know, was a pretty badass quarterback. And, um, anyways, they went with Carson Wentz, and, you know, they won the game, so. The rest is here, history, as they say. All right, well, here's our, um, Patch Auto rookie card. And I don't know who this is. DK Metcalf. Looks to be a running back or something. With the uh, Seahawks. Let's see if there's any info. Nope. So. Yeah, not that great. I don't think. But. And I guess Easton Stick there was our other autograph, so. Unfortunately, his cards are not worth that much. So that's probably like a seven or eight dollar card, I think. All right, let's see who the last two cards are. Miles Garrett of the uh, Browns and uh, Alshon Jeffrey. Both of these are numbered. So I wonder if this is like an orange. This is like a red parallel. That would make some kind of sense. I feel like every card in here almost is out of, is no, there's the two base cards. They just have white kind of clouds in the back, and these have red and orange. So, I don't know, interesting product, but the condition of these things is not very fun, which kind of pisses me off, and I, I think that's pretty common with, like, thicker cards. They just, you know, their corners are just very exposed. It would seem. So let's open some 2019 Panini football. I think these are called fat packs in here. I don't think I'm going to open this whole box. Um, value packs. So let's see. So I never opened a lot of this. Um, of each of the maybe two or three cards of each of those guys 
actually Saquon Barkley, I think I have like one card of his. So it'll be cool to get some more. I think this Panini football is pretty low on stuff. Um, Andrew Luck just retired, of course. Big news. Okay, didn't just retire, but before the season started. I gotta say, um, Cooper Cup. I got, um, I think I got an autograph of him once, and a ton of people commented that they really liked that guy. So he must be a fan favorite. Jimmy Garoppolo was injured last year, I believe, but I think he's better this year, so. So here, um, these have, uh, like Panini in gold or like copper lettering at the top there, so they must be some kind of parallel. And then here's our, um, well, there's one rookie card and this has kind of an interesting finish on it. It's like a thicker kind of card, so I don't know if that's how all the rookies are in this product, but we'll find out. Speaking of Carson Wentz, there he is on that pack. Sports card, but 
I was watching the Bills and Patriots game, and the Bills almost pulled one over on the on the Patriots, which would have been a very big win for them, um, given how great the Patriots are. So, you know, the Bills may have a decent season ahead of them. I'm a I'm a old I'm a long time well I shouldn't say a long time I'm a, I'm a uh, Bills fan from the old days from back in Jim Kelly and uh, Thurman Thomas and Andre Reid and Bruce Smith and those guys back when they used to get in the Super Bowl every year and then lose it. That's about when I gave up on football for a long time the first time. Now I just kind of have too much going on to be up to speed on every sport. Alright, well, hope you guys enjoyed that. Football fans out there, thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all later. Alright, bye.